Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number seven. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to push and pull columns using bootstrap. Okay. And I also want to apologize before the video actually starts. Um, if I sound like I'm breathing in and out a lot, or if, uh, my nose just sounds like it's blocked or if my voice just sounds different, it's because I'm sick. So it's it's quite difficult to record right now, but I'm I'm gonna try my best to get some videos done for you guys. So um, yeah, I just want to apologize if you hear me breathe in and out a lot or something like that. It's it's just because I really I'm struggling to breathe right now, and um, yeah, let's let's try get some videos done. Now I do want to mention that I've also added my own custom CSS file over here. And I've done that the exact same way you would add a custom CSS file to any HTML page. Okay, so um, I just want to mention that that's actually there and I'm going to be using some custom CSS later on in this video. So uh, yeah, if you guys ever want to add custom CSS to a bootstrap file or a bootstrap uh, page, then uh, yeah. Uh, don't edit the bootstrap files themselves actually go ahead and create your own CSS file that is the best practice if you edit the bootstrap files uh, that is considered bad practice and uh, that's why we were using the minified versions to kind of um, convince you guys or uh, make you guys not want to use these files okay so uh, yeah now that we've got that whole rant out the way, let's get started. And um, you can see that I've already got my container and my row over here. So I'm going to start creating some columns. And in fact, I'm actually going to create two columns. The first one is going to be div. And I'm going to give that a, a class of col md4. So on a medium sized screen or larger this column is going to take up uh, or this div is going to take up four columns okay then uh, I also want to give this a secondary class of BG danger just so we can see exactly how big that column actually is uh, and then I'm going to add another column over here and I'm gonna make that call MD 8 so that's actually gonna be eight columns long and I'm going to give this a class of BG success. Okay. And uh, I just need to give each one of these some content. So we'll say column one. And the next one will give a class of this. Oh, this is column two. And it's not a class, it's just content. Sorry. So let me go ahead and save that now. And if I jump back over to the browser, and I hit refresh, you can see that now I've got column one and we've got column two. But that's not what this tutorial is about. I actually want to show you guys how to push and pull content. Okay, so pushing and pulling basically means that we can uh, swap these two columns around using the push and pull classes. So what I can do is if I go over to column one and I give this a class of call md push eight okay then that means on a medium device so on a medium device we want to push this column or this div by eight columns so um you, uh, you guys can probably see where this is going because this div is eight columns so we're pushing this div all the way to the end of this div okay so we need to go ahead and save this now and when I jump back into the browser and hit refresh, you can see that column one has kind of disappeared from here. Um, and it's actually appearing behind column two. So we need to sort this issue out where uh, column two is now hiding column one away because column one is underneath column two. So to do that, we're going to jump over to our column two and we're going to give this a class of col md pull uh four okay so i'm going to go ahead and hit save and the reason we um 
did this was because now that we've pushed column one by eight spaces, um, we need to then pull column two by the same amount of columns that uh, the first div was taking up, right? So um, because this div one or column one was uh, taking up four columns, we needed to go over to column two and just pull it back those four spaces. So now if we uh, come back over to the browser and hit refresh, you can see that now we've got column one where column two should have been. And then we've got column two where column one should have been. So we swapped them around using push and pull. And this is quite handy because what I like to do sometimes on my websites is I'll put an image on the right hand side over here and that would be column one and then I'll put the article or the content over here and that would be column two but then on a phone uh, I want these two to swap around again so if I go into responsive design view you can see that now we've got column one on top and then we've got column two on the bottom where it should be uh, but if we take a look at that on the screen, on the uh, computer screen, uh, then you can see that we've swapped them around again. So co um, column one is where column two should be and column two is where one, column one should be, right? So um, yeah, that is what pushing and pulling basically does. And the reason why it's pushed and pulled um, that way is because we pushed it and pulled it on a medium device. So anything smaller than a medium device uh, it would go back to normal and that is why a phone which is an extra small device um, column one displays on the top and column two displays on the bottom right so uh, yeah something I wanted to show you guys uh, with my custom CSS is that I have this class of BG cover which is uh, a class that I created and all it does is add a background image gives that background image some height and also uh, sets the background size to cover. Okay, so if I come back over to column one over here and I change this from BG danger to BG, BG cover, which by the way, this is not a bootstrap class. I just showed you guys that that is a class I created by myself over here in my own custom CSS file. Uh, then uh, what we should have is our image on the right hand side and then this could be your um, article or something like that that will be on the left hand side but then what happens is if you ever have viewers come visit your site on a mobile phone then you have the image at the top it kind of attracts their attention a little bit more and entices them to read the rest of the article so um, yeah I think that that was kind of creative I liked the, the whole idea of doing that on a website that I recently created. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to show you guys where this would be useful and that's pretty much all I have in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.